Hello, hello, and thank you for hello. joining us. Hello. Uh, we are now broad, uh, broadcasting live throughout the whole world, so no matter where you're watching us from, thank you very much yeah. for joining us. Uh, my name is Martin. Uh, my name is Coco. Nice to meet you all again. Mm -hmm. And this yes. is the start of the uh, Dongfeng uh, live broadcast. Yes. But actually, Coco, yes. I'm still thinking about last time, our last Me broadcast. Uh, I know what you mean. Yes. Yeah. If you were lucky enough to join us last time, we were. Uh, that was when we were visiting the factories and going to see the production lines of the cars. Yeah. So we saw every stage from stamping to pressing to welding, final assembly yeah, all well, together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Welding and the painting and the general assemble. So mm -hmm. we went through four process of the whole uh, car productions. That's right. And it was amazing yes. to see that whole process come together without yeah. any mistakes and produce a car. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. even don't know when we drive cars on the road. That's we right. don't know how the process so complicated. That's right. Yeah. And it just goes to show the, the great attention to detail that Dong Feng yeah, uh, four they put into their cars, yeah, and uh, and how it's all centered around customers, so designed around customers. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, our Dongfeng Four Thing uh, brand, they invest uh, a lot in the uh, research and development of our products. Mm. Yeah, like uh, today, uh, we are going to introduce uh, another product series. That's right. Yes. We're talking today about uh, Dongfeng. Lingzhi series, isn't that right? Yes. So Lingzhi series, this is, uh, was actually launched back in 2001. Yeah, uh, 20 years ago, right? Over 20 years ago now yes. uh, by Dongfeng. Yeah. And it was uh, China's first self-owned brand business, MPV. Yes. Uh, so it's, uh, it has all those years of experience, which means its level of design, development and production is very, very high. Yeah. Over years of experience, and it's always been at the forefront of uh, China's independent um, brand commercial MPV. Yes, as just Martin mentioned, uh, our factory, uh, we launched Lingzhi Serial product since 2001, so till now more than 20 years. So after so many years, so our product is getting lots, lots of experience in the market, dominate all the experience. Mm -hmm. So today uh, we select three models from our Lingzi series, mm -hmm. uh, series uh, to introduce to our audience. That's so right. first one is Lingzi Plus, and uh -huh. the second one uh, is V3, and the third one uh, is M5. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but all of them are gasoline. That's right. So yes. before we go into the, the uh, Lingzhi Plus, yes. uh, just a little bit more about the Lingzhi series from yes. Dongfang. Um, it's based on the prototype. The prototype is the Mitsubishi's yes. Space Gear L400. Yes. Now that is a very popular car in Japan, isn't it? A very popular car in Japan. Yes. Um, and uh, the Dongfeng Forzing has also launched something called the All PST. <laughs> yeah, now, very professional the, work. The PST. The P stands for All Power. Now this f is a, uh, a commercial vehicle manufacturing technology platform. Yeah. And this was the, the all power is the fuel line control technology. Yes. That's the P of the PST. The S is the all shell, which focuses on the material supply system platform. Yes. And the T, uh, that stands for time, so all time, which uh, focuses on the quality control system. Yes. And we've seen this, uh, this new technology, these new technology platforms all come together in the Lingzhi series, and this has produced some really amazing results um, for, and achievements for the Lingzhi series, such as uh, low fuel consumption. Uh, we see great yeah. looking appearance, as you can see from the car behind me. Mm -hmm. uh, great reliability, durability, and also, very important, high safety. Um, yes. So I think the Lingzhi series have really earned their, uh, their name as the all-round commercial vehicle. I think in that respect. <laughs> yes, Martin, uh, mm. you just now introduced a uh, lot of, uh, uh, of information about uh, Lingzhi. Mm. Uh, uh, indeed, yes, uh, this product right now, um, yeah, we're selling very good in the market. But for this model, Lingzhi Plus, we just launched uh, uh, in this year. That's right. So yeah. although the Lingzhi uh, series has been around for 20, over 20 years now, yeah. This particular model, the Lingzhi Plus, was yeah. released, is, is a brand new model. It was released less than a year ago. Yeah. Um, and it comes in four different types. There's a, two different seven-seaters, two different nine-seaters. Yeah. Um, so if we just have a little look at the front. When you first look at a car, of course, one of the first things you yeah. see is the front. And I just think it looks really, 
really powerful. If we look at these, the style and the style of the headlights as well, these sort of eagle eye headlights, this is what they're called, both sides there, the eagle eye headlights, really powerful and domineering, very imposing. And when you see this kind of uh, design of the front there, it makes you kind of think, the person who's driving this car, who is that? Maybe a very powerful businessman or a powerful politician. Uh, that, that's the sort of image that it brings to mind. Now, <clears throat> about some of the figures. In terms of length, it's over five meters long. It's 5.14 meters long. And the width and the height make it almost perfectly square. Per perfectly square in shape. So the height is 1.9 meters. The width is 1.9 meters. And the wheelbase is over three meters. It's 3.2 meters. Now all of these suggest a very powerful, imposing uh, MPV. Mm. Thank you, Martin. Yes. Uh, so you see our uh, Lingzhi uh, plus this model, uh, we designed the side door for two uh, sliding doors type. So uh, for left side and for the right side. So this design uh, for us uh, is very convenient when we get in and get off the cars. Uh, additionally, I want to introduce this car today because uh, uh, in our showroom, so uh, uh, we present the sample the configuration is for our standard type. So uh, uh, today we're going to introduce you uh, about the specifications, uh, is depending on these samples. Okay, Martin? Mm -hmm. yes. yes, you mentioned uh, both of the, both sides have these sliding doors. Yes. But what I too. also wanted to point out is these, uh, these windows on the sliding doors are actually, you can open them slightly. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean on this side in here. So if we come in here, and so this door is closed now, but if we just flip this switch and can push it open slightly like this, and that allows us to uh, maybe communicate with someone who's on the outside, or uh, if we're driving, you can open and close while driving, get some fresh air into the, into the car. That's really a neat design and very considerate um, of, of Dong Feng to consider that for their customers. And that's available on both sides, both sliding doors. So that's really, really neat. I really like that feature. Okay. Yep. Thank you, Marty. No problem. Yeah, you see uh, the side, the side of this car here, uh, we designed very logically when we get in, get off the car, the platform, uh, the distance uh, from the platform is very suitable, convenient for us. And the general design you see from the outside, the design very like um, uh, spacious and, you know, uh, a very beautiful design. Mm -hmm. So that and makes it, the car looks very strong. Definitely. The, yeah. It's the squareness as well of the car yeah. that I think makes like it look so, really strong. Yeah. And that's reflected in the windshield as well. The windshield's very square, um, which has that really imposing, powerful feel. Yeah. But if we come around the back and have a look as well, we can see that in the back as well. If we have a look at the... Uh, <coughs> The back window here, again, it's that uh, very square shape and the overall square shape of the car there, a uh, very imposing and powerful shape. Uh, but one thing I really love about the back, these, these uh, tail lights here, these vertical strip tail lights, I just think they look very dashing, very sleek and very beautiful, uh, very eye-catching certainly. And the tail lights on both sides are connected by this thin but very stylish chrome metal strip here. And I just think that really adds to things and makes the, the back very eye-catching and lively, almost. I really enjoy that. Yeah, thank you, Martin. So, so uh, I'm going to take you uh, to see the front about the engines. So for this model, I uh, was equipped with 2.0 liter displacement gasoline engines for the uh, uh, air uh, intake type uh, for the engine. And also this car is the suspensions. Uh, if you see the rear suspensions, it's uh, equipped with um, uh, steel lift, lift springs. This, uh, those steel lift springs at the rear axles, the suspension there, it can help us when we load cargoes inside this car. Uh, if you want to load more, and then suspension need to be very strong. That's why we design like this, to make it a very uh, strong and very powerful suspensions. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. Yes. Um, so it seems to be very strong, very sturdy, very stable when carrying heavy loads. Uh, but we mentioned previously one of the key factors when considering a car, any car, 
ever when considering an MPV is the safety. Now this, this car uh, has uh, your standard airbags, it has ABS, but it also has an ESP body stabilizing system, um, as well as uphill assistance for when you're driving on, uh, on um, high degree slopes. It has a child safety seat um, uh, additions, it has tire pressure monitoring, it has re um, reverse radar and video options, um, it's also made of very high strength material, so the body is very high strength, and it's also got an anti-theft system built into it as well. So Thanks. very safe, so you're getting a very high quality, a very spacious, uh, versatile car, but it's also very safe. Yes, too. yes Martin, I agree. Uh, you know, safety is the a uh, key is the key quality of uh, one car. Mm. But another feature I think that car need to have is is about the comfort. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yes. Speaking of the comfort, uh, we can feel that like in terms of that design, the shape, the material inside, you mm. know, uh, everything like interior, everything that make you feel like the comfort. How does it look true. like? That's true. So yeah. we've, we've had a little look from the outside, what it might look on the inside, yeah, but let's, uh, I really want to get in and have a look. So follow yeah. me Good and we'll, uh, we'll go inside the cockpit here yes. and, uh, and see what it's really like. So, uh, yeah, Coco just mentioned comfort there and I must say, I'm 180 centimeters tall or just about six foot tall and I've still got that much space above me on my head. There's so much space there. Um, there's a lot of space to move around as well um, and a lot of, a lot of flexibility. Uh, but also I wanted to draw attention to these cushions, these seats. It, they're very, very, made of very firm material but also soft, just the right level of softness. And I think if you were to sit in here long enough you wouldn't feel any driving fatigue. It's very supportive for the legs, the lower back and the upper back as well. Very comfortable indeed. So. Um, if we look uh, down here, it's all very ergonomic, very user friendly. We have the buttons to control the mirrors to the side here for the fuel um, port, for the, the elevation of the headlights here, the access to the, the trunk there. And also this I really like. There's a little secret storage space here just for the driver. So if you're driving and you have other passengers, maybe you could put some snacks in there or some, some food in there for you. or um, if you didn't want to share it. Or it's also good for important uh, documents or passes that you need uh, to get your hands on. Uh, we have the, the steering wheel, the multifunction steering wheel here with buttons left and right. Uh, it can be adjusted its height just by uh, using this lever down here. So if you've got longer legs, longer legs than me, then you can raise it up. If your legs are shorter, you can raise it down and it's very easy to lock back in place. We have the, the indicator switches left and right, the fog lights left and right, the windshield wipers all controlled from here and all displayed on the, uh, the, the board there. Um, so if we can come round now to have a look to the center console and see what we've got here. So in the center console, the first thing that, that caught my eye, which was quite interesting, was this feature here. Now, you might not know immediately what this thing is for. It's actually very specially designed for mobile phones. Um, many people will clip their mobile phones if they're using it for uh, navigation purposes to go somewhere. They'll clip them onto the air conditioning vents. <clears throat> this has got a special uh, part to clip your mobile phone so the air conditioning, whether it's hot or cold, won't affect your phone. If there's a big temperature change on your phone then that can affect the battery and make it um, not last as long. So this is specially designed for that. Uh, below we have the, the radio here. Again very intuitive. We have the volume on and off control here. And the buttons and the knobs they just feel very crisp, very good quality when you turn them and push them. It just feels right. One button mute um, for safety, uh, very easy to access. We've got the ability to store six different radio stations in here um, and the tuning knob to the, to the right here. Um, if we look to the right and left of the radio, we have these big air vents here. These are the part of the air conditioning and the air control system, which is uh, controlled by here. So here we have a uh, push start. Again, uh, air control, blue and red for temperature. And here is the, the volume of air control through here. 
here we control the various circulation features, whether this is internal circulation or coming in from outside. Um, all very intuitive within arm's reach of the driver as well. So the air conditioning is, is the most often pushed buttons and often turned knobs. So that uh, within arm's reach, very convenient and very ergonomic, centered around people and their customers designed this car. Uh, below, we have a, a place to store mobile phones or um, whatever you might need to store in there. Maybe you could get two in there, one for the passenger, one for you. We have the safety lights when you need to safety park. And just below, we have another storage area, very deep this time, uh, above which we have a USB port here for charging, uh, but also for connecting uh, to the radio, if you want to do that. And this lovely uh, knob style gear stick uh, feel, feels very secure, very comfortable to use. And it goes from reverse all the way up to sixth gear. So you can get some good uh, control of your speed on that too. Um, we've got a good storage space down here. This would be good for handbags or any small backpack, as well as a charging port or a, a power supply port here for a cigarette lighter. In the center, we have uh, two cup holders with uh, anti-slip um, bases there and this feature I particularly like this is a, a very large storage area here which can be accessed from this side to get in like this or if it's more convenient from people behind can get access from this side too so it's a it's got a, a double sliding effect and I find that really uh, really really interesting yeah so no wonder they call this the the Linger Plus because there's just so much going on and there's so many storage spaces as well. It's all very convenient, very intuitive and lots of really cool little features, which is just going to show how much they've got the customer in mind when, uh, when, making, this, when making this car. So, um, in terms of comfort then, when it comes to the second row, this is yeah. the first row, uh, driver's seat and front passenger seat. What about the, the second row? Yeah, I'm here, I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to show to our audience for the second row seats. Oh, right. Yeah, I, I'm getting in the car from this side. Okay. See, I can get in this car very easily because the pad, platform distance is very suitable for us to get in and get off the cars. So right now I'm sitting here. So I just like, how do I feel? I feel like very comfortable and my hands put here on the handles are very like ease. Even, you know, the space is here, very large, just in front of my legs. And also, uh, when, I, uh, when I stretch my arms, my, my hands, then there has lots of spaces uh, 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 on the top. So uh, let's try about the seat adjustment, see how it is. So you can, the adjustment handle is here. So you can see, wow, we have a very big adjustment range here, you see? Oh, just we can put it here directly into a slipper. Wow, just the slipper. Wow, very comfortable here. So, so let's turn it back. So this is about the seat adjustment. So uh, how about the, uh, here for the uh, back, uh, backwards and forward? So let's try here. Wow, you see, we can just get here adjusted. We can push, push this handle and get it forward and backward very easily here. Yeah? Just depending on your needs. Just very comfortable seats. So I don't know how it feel at the third row. Yeah, uh -huh. but I'm I'm here. I feel very comfortable at the. Very good. So the second. yeah, the second row it looks really comfortable. You've got so much space to move yeah. around. But I'm thinking, okay, the front row that's fine. Second row very comfortable. The back row must suffer surely. I'm gonna go and find out. <laughs> okay, you can try so you're, that. Let's have a look. I, I feel very comfortable here, Marty. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we have handles here. Well, the first thing I realized how just easy yep. it was to get in. That big opening at the front and it just, um, such so much space inside. It was very easy to get in and sit behind. Yeah, yeah and you're tall, you know. Yeah. yeah you get easily, very <laughs> easily inside. That's right. But yeah. now that I'm sat here, I can see yeah. so much space for Coco in the second row. I've got yeah. so much space between my knees and my and the front seat to move around back and forth as well. Yeah. And uh, with, even with Coco fully reclined, I can still have lots of space and I can recline myself as well. You could almost, uh, you could almost turn this into a double bed back here and just go to sleep. That's really amazing. Oh, you mean the seats, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. The, the seats can fully recline and it's almost just like going to sleep. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's just like the second row, right? That's right, yeah. Yeah, 
And we have another advantage, selling points, I mean, okay. for this car. What's uh, that? For our luxury version of this M uh, Linger Plus, so the second row seats are uh, the independent seats that can be rotated uh, oh, 360 nice. degrees. I see. That means I don't need to talk to you like this. Maybe I can turn back and talk to face to face. I see. Mm -hmm. That's very good, isn't it? Yeah, that but makes our journey, especially when we have a long journey in this yeah. car, it won't feel any boring anymore. That's very good, yeah. So it would just become like a conference room. You could have a meeting yes. in the back here. Yeah, we, yeah. we can have a meeting on the way. Yeah, very good. Very yeah, good, very this good. is the uh, one, uh, uh, how, how, do I, how do I say? This is one of uh, the marketing uh, position of this car mm. because we're positioning at the uh, travel uh, same time for business. That's right, yeah. So the, it's suitable for travel as yeah. well as business, isn't yeah. that right? Yes. And the travel version comes in different colors, I think. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, that's how our uh, position is. Um, we designed uh, many colors, colorful colors, mm. like green colors, red colors, yeah, and or other colorful colors, you know, mm -hmm. just, just to uh, meet different demands. All right, very good. So very, very colorful, very fashionable as well. Yeah. So we've talked about space in terms of comfort, in terms of space. There's so much space in here, mm -hmm. front row, middle row and back row. Yeah. But there's another aspect of comfort that we haven't mentioned yet. What is it? And it's to do with noise. Oh. There's a special kind of technology around that focuses on NVH. Oh, special word, I guess. Yeah, NVH, another acronym. This is uh, noise, vibration and harshness. Uh -huh. So, and, and Dongfeng uh, have incorporated 40 different NVH measures into this car. Mm -hmm. And it means when you're inside, it reduces greatly the noise and vibration and harshness of sound coming from outside. Um, and it's a lot more complicated than it sounds. It's not just as simple as, you know, putting an extra of soundproof cotton around uh -huh. the inside or sound soundproof layer. Okay. There's a lot that goes into this research and development. Okay. In fact, do you want to, I want to try this out. I want to know yeah. how it's like, how it feels like. Okay, should we try? Yeah, 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 I'm okay. sitting here waiting, right? right? I'll come out okay. and uh, I'll turn off my microphone. Okay, right. so I, I close this, this door, right? Yeah, can you, you close the door in there? Okay, I close the door here. Thank so you. we make sure every door, where every window is closed, right? Yeah. Okay. So my microphone is off now. Okay, okay so I'll close, close the door. door. What are you saying, Martin? <laughs> okay. Martin, hello. Can you hear me now? <laughs> How was that, Coco? What are you saying? <laughs> I have no idea. I'm calling you. Did you hear? No. I didn't, you didn't hear no. anything. Did you hear me? I don't know. I, I, I just say, I just know you're speaking, but I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you can see my mouth move. Yeah. yeah. Well, that just goes to show the effect of these 40 different, um, these 40 different NVH procedures that they've uh, incorporated wow. into the thing. Th this, is, this is high technology. Yeah. Are you sure you didn't hear me? I didn't hear anything you said. I told you. <laughs> oh, not a thing. Not okay. a thing. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's very impressive. I like mm -hmm. this. It's very. Just, okay. This is good for business. That's definitely yeah. So whether it is for travel or for business, uh, in terms of comfort, you've got the space in there. So much space to move around, get on and off the car. Uh, but also in terms of sound uh, insulation as well. Those 40 NVE procedures that they've put into this car really, um, really make it a comfortable trip for everybody. Um, in terms of uh, temperature now, so we've covered space, covered sound. Um, what, it's, what is it like when it's really hot in the summer, really cold in the winter? Uh, with such a huge qu uh, quantity of air to heat or cool, one thing that I really wanted to point out, um, especially for people riding in the second row and the back row here, if you come in here, is uh, we have up here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, vents here for controlling air. Um, so the the temperature of the air will be from the main console, but here we've got our own um, control knob here which controls the flow of air and six different uh, vents which can control the direction 
um, here as well. So even though the space is very big, it is such a voluminous space in here, there's so much air um, control from, from these things that if it's very hot in summer, you can keep it cool. If it's very cold in winter, you can keep it warm. So we've got space comfort, we've got noise comfort, and we've got temperature comfort. And they've really nailed all three with this car. Very, uh, very, very pleased there. Um, we also mentioned before the double sliding doors. So we've got a sliding door on this side and a sliding door on this side. And we saw before, with Coco sitting here, I had no problem coming in and going out. And if, uh, if I was sitting here now, Coco would have no problem coming in and coming out um, as well. So it's very, very free and easy to, to, uh, to get on and off. Now, we've looked at the, the passenger side. How about we go have a look at the trunk and see what's in the back? Should we go have a look? Oh, yes, Martin. Yeah. You're going to check the trunk? Yes. Yeah. So I was really impressed by how much space we had as passengers uh, in the front row, the second row, and even the back row. There was so much space to move yeah. around. Let's have a look in the back here and see what we've got. So this is the seven-seater uh, model here. Now, as we can see, even with seven seats installed, we've still got a very big space here to store things um, for transporting things. Uh, that w makes it a very good thing for uh, travel and commercial uses. If this was a shuttle bus, for example, you could store all of your uh, passengers' suitcases and bags and everything here. Um, even if it was for a big family journey, you could store all the things you need there for the family trip. Very good indeed. Uh, and also, with this thing open here, I don't know if you can see this, this operates as sort of like a, a makeshift roof. So if you happen to stop somewhere on your travels, you could open this up and it protects you from the rain. Uh, it also protects you from the sun. A brilliant place to sit, uh, sit down and relax from the, the weather and not be affected by the rain or the sun. A good place to relax for a cup of tea or a, a picnic or, or, or something like that. So that is the natural advantage of having this, this <laughs> I'm big, enjoying you. <laughs> this, this big yeah. um, square trunk that opens up and makes like yeah. a little tent almost. Yeah, like a touring car, right? Exactly, yeah. And yeah, you feel like very, mm -hmm. like it just feel covered here, mm -hmm. we're sitting here. Uh, I feel like coffee. Do you want coffee? Oh, I would love a coffee, yes. Yeah, yeah. I but think before so. that, um, there's some questions, I believe, that have been asked from people who have been watching this live stream. Oh, you mean from our audience, right? That's right, yeah. Oh, they've got some what? questions about this uh, Lingja Plus. Okay. Uh, they've been coming in, so if I can have a look. Yeah. I've got some questions to you, Coco. Is that okay? <laughs> sure, right. sure. So let's see what questions does our audience have. Okay. So uh, the first question is yes. about uh, this Lingja Plus. It's asking, um, are there other types of versions yes. of this of this oh. MPV, okay. and what kind of colors or configurations there are? Okay, uh, for our Link Plus, uh, we have uh, seven seats and nine seats uh, version, and also we have a gasoline type and a CNG type. Uh, for the colors, we have uh, all kinds of colors for you to choose. Mostly, we recommend you the uh, blue, the green, the red, the white all kinds of colors you can get. Mm. Mm -hmm. And uh, in terms of uh, different versions, I think you can also convert this into oh, a... Into a touring car. That's right, yeah. yeah. Just now, really cool. Yeah, just now uh, I told you that uh, we can convert this car into a cover van. Mm. Yeah, that, I love that, that van that just like uh, we can just drive this car and sleep in this car and mm. having fun somewhere. That's right. So lots of different versions. Yes. Uh, and so no matter what your needs are, there'll probably be one that suits you. <laughs> and also a style that suits your own personal taste as well. Yes. Okay, the next question. Yeah, what is um, it? It's about um, what kind of um, category does the Lingja series, this Lingja series of cars, what kind of category of uh, MPV does it fit into? Oh, you mean... Or what does it belong to? Yeah. Oh, you mean position? Yeah. You mean position, right? right? The marketing yeah. positions. Okay. Uh, so uh, for our Lingzi product series, we our position in the market is to meet the demand uh, for like uh, passenger transportation, family usage, and uh -huh. business type. So that means it's a vegetable like uh, functions for all kinds of purpose. But for Lingzi Plus, that we're mainly targeting this model to yeah. the market of the business type. 
I and also see. for driver type. I see. But there's two functions. Okay, so the Linger series overall, that's a very versatile yes. um, series, isn't it? No matter what you need and, and wants are, there'll be some yes. model in there that suits them. Yep. But the Linger Plus, the one that we're sitting in now, <laughs> yes. uh, that's more suitable for travel, uh, travel and, and commercial business use. Business, yes. business type. Okay, all right, yes. great. Um, and the last question yes. is um, the, the luxury model. Mm -hmm of this Linger Plus, what, what kind of uh, strong points or highlights does oh, that have? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, how do I say, if we have the videos to share with you later, maybe we can send to our audience if they want. Ah. But here I want to give them some information about the luxury models. Okay. Yeah, we have three big glasses like the panoramic sunroof and oh, yeah. the multifunctional steel wheel and the nether seat. And also as well as the uh, uh, LCD screen, yeah, or options you can add to the top version. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so you got the, the luxury one. The, the the LCD screen for the driver, the, the three separate sunroofs in, yeah. the, in the in the in the back there, yeah, yeah. Um, and also a, a luxury carpet or something like that, isn't it? Doesn't have carpets as well. Yeah. Also, I forgot to mention that we can mod uh, customize the floor too into the wooden floor. Oh really? Yeah, we have the service. Oh, very good, very yeah, nice indeed. Luxury one. Okay, um, so that's all the questions we have for the Linger Plus okay, at the thank moment. You. Thank but, you for the audience. Yeah, thank you very much for uh, sending those in. Yes. Um, if you have any more questions, then yes. feel free to contact us uh, again through the live broadcast room or yes. through the website. Okay, yeah, you can contact us online. Uh, so that's, uh, this is the basic information of our Linger Plus. Uh, yeah, if you want, uh, you can contact us to know the details. Mm -hmm. uh, later on, we can uh, share you uh, details again by a short video. Okay, yes. yes. Should we have a look at the video now? Yes, let's okay. check the let's video check out. Let's check it out. Hello and welcome back. Hello, welcome back. Yeah, thanks for coming back. That was very interesting to learn a little bit more about the, the LG, sorry, the Linger Plus. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, so what next? Okay, well, we saw that the Linger Plus, that was all about travel and business. Oh, yeah. Um, and and uh, commercial uh, MPV, wasn't it? Yeah. Now we're turning our attention to uh, what's behind us here. Yeah. This is the uh, Linger V3. V3. That's right. Yeah, now this is used a cargo as a cargo car, or a freight car, mm -hmm. usually for transporting goods. Yes, isn't that right? Uh, this has been very popular in China, particularly with uh, many short distance logistics companies. Yes, um, and is used for short distance uh, logistics transportation. Yeah, um, and we'll see why shortly. Yeah, you will see obviously from this design. From this design, you can see mm. our factory position is used as a, a truck. A loading truck uh, compared with our passenger passenger version that that difference is like uh, we still keep remain the front two seats and we take other seats out we take other seats out to uh, become our cargo version but we okay uh, we need to close the windows so this is a cargo version also we cover this floor with the glue floor especially for the loading commodities so uh, this is the uh, design Mm -hmm. So what's more, Martin? So we uh, we would call this car 
this uh, this freight car a no frills car. Uh, it's very pragmatic, very practical. And if we just take a quick look at the front here, uh, we can see the the headlights and the the separated uh, turning signals here. The big fog lights at the side. Um, we also have the the inverted trapezoid. Uh, air, air intake there and what I quite like about this design is it seems to be reflected in the the inverted trapezoid of the the grill as well um, so it's sort of a, a very pragmatic very practical uh, looking car but uh, if we come around the side and take a look from the side view it's also practical in terms of its shape it's almost like a, a bullet shape which is very streamlined very smooth reduction of uh, of drag there in its overall shape it looks a bit like a bullet but that's what it looks like from the outside but what does a freight car look like on the inside so let's have a little look shall we so here we are in the uh, the driver's seat of the the freight car and as we say the first thing you probably notice if you look behind me here is this this aluminium frame here now this is to uh, stop any cargo that you have behind here from an emergency stop situation coming forward so this is a safety frame here um, safety is very important of course to Dong Feng in everything they do so if you had to have a, a brake situation no cargo would come crashing forward that's to protect you uh, and the cargo of course um, now in terms of the the cockpit area the driver's area as you can see prag pragmatism and practical use has been maximized here uh, you've got a, a sort of regular steering wheel there's no um, superfluous buttons or gizmos or knobs or anything like that it's all very practical all very um, useful things that you would find um, so you've got all the controls down here for the, the lights and the mirrors as you normally would. You've got a control for the lifting the hood uh, just underneath here. Um, in terms of uh, the central console now, so if you can come around and have a look at the central console, we'll have a look what's uh, on offer here. Uh, so open that for you there. So again, very practical, very um, pragmatic in terms of its approach. What we definitely call a no frills. Here, we don't have one to show you, but this is where you could get a, a radio as an option. Uh, here's the air conditioning control, the temperature control, the uh, qu the quantity of airflow, as well as the direction here. And even though it is very practical, pragmatic approach, it still feels like it's a very good quality. Um, very crisp and clear knob controls there. Uh, here we have the the um, the emergency lights here and if we look down here we have the power outlet for a cigarette lighter or any power outlets here we have uh, the additional USB uh, port here as well as a non-slip surface here we have two slots now you might be thinking what are these for these are for if you were to have uh, passes to get through places if you needed a card to get through places for parking tickets all that sort of thing something that you would need to get to very quickly, very convenient to. So those uh, are very convenient indeed. Um, and if we look past the, the gear stick here, we have the, um, the brake here. We have a very large storage area in the middle here. This would be very convenient to start, store all kinds of things in here. You can store um, bottles, all kinds of um, documents, anything useful that you would need while driving, which is very good. And of course you have a... Uh, a very very spacious uh, glove compartment there as well so it's all about uh, space it's all about being very practically minded uh, again these are for these freight cars are for logistics transportation companies so it's all based around being pragmatic effective and practical uh, but one thing we wanted to show that to really highlight that actually is uh, is what Coco is preparing for us now let me just find out if she's ready Coco hey Martin are you ready yeah I'm here okay. I'm ready Hi everyone, thanks to Marin. Uh, he gave us a full introduction about the front part. So let's see the important part for this uh, version, uh, cargo version V3. You look at the rear side. Here, just now I forgot to introduce about our logo. See, this is a black logo of our strong lion logo. This is our Dong Feng Fortin Rear logos. We will see uh, what's inside and what it looks like later. So uh, you will see here what we prepare. 
our camera. You can see? See? We prepared lots of things, including the suitcase, the bags, the fans, even the trash can, everything here, we're going to load into the cargo van. We will see what is going to be. Uh, we will open the rear trunk to see. Very easy to open. Wow. Hi, oh. Martin. Oh. Martin, you're sleeping here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I was <laughs> thought I'd... Comfortable? Very comfortable. I'll oh. tell you what, there's so much space back here. You could get an entire wow. bed here. Yeah, it's very big. <laughs> yeah, very big, isn't it? Uh, you can sleep here, have a rest. Yes, that's right. Okay, yeah. I wish I could. I wish I could. Yeah, um, yeah. later on, later on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You, you, want, you want to measure the size for the audience? I do, yeah. First, let's have a look. Yeah, let's okay. see the size. So it's so spacious in here. There's almost an echo as we go around. So this is the width. In terms mm -hmm. of width, we've got, what is it? Let's have a look. We've got 100 and, 153 100, uh, yeah, centimeters wide. And in terms of height, we've got 130 centimeters high. So it's one meter 53 wide, one meter three centimeters. 1.3 meters um, high. Now, what about length? Yeah, what about let me length? Help you. Can you help me? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's have a look. Whoa, that's 293 centimeters. Mm -hmm. So that's 2.93 meters. Almost uh, three meters. Right? Almost three meters yeah. long. Yeah. So that's a huge volume you've got here, isn't it? So yeah. much space. Yeah. You uh, I suppose that we can put lots of things inside. Uh, yeah. uh, what have you got prepared yeah, here? <laughs> that's, that's what we uh, want to show you, Marty. Right. Yeah, uh, we are going to uh, put these things, all things inside. Oh, right. And what yeah. have you got? We got a suitcase and oh, we right. got trash can, we got a fan, everything okay. that you can think about. Okay, well, let yeah. me just uh, fold this bed up. Uh, like maybe, this. yeah, it's okay if you, if you leave that or just, just close that. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah. We can try to load them, okay? okay. So first case. Go one. Yeah. Second. Two. Two. And then the third one. Three. Three. And then okay. four. Four. Okay. Five. Five. I'll tell you what, these are big. These are big yeah. suitcases. <laughs> For travel, of course. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, so one, two, next three, four, five, one is about six. a box, right? Uh, wow, trash okay. can. You never know what you might need to transport after all. <laughs> Everything you can think of, uh, Martin. You know, bag necessary for travel. In. Oh, and one fan. See, a big fan. Even big fan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, very good. Yeah. And look at that, that can easily stand up in here. Wow, I cannot imagine. I, it's standing, yeah. the fan. So we've got so many, we've got six suitcases, we've got a big trash can, we've got a big backpack, we've got a fan stand wow. up, we've got a sleeper bed here, um, and there's still so much space. I don't know if you can see, there's just so much space here yeah, still yeah. left over. It's still big enough if you sleep here. Again, <laughs> by the sleeper, you see? <laughs> oh, very tempting, very tempting. <laughs> very, very, very impressive uh, amount of space in here. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, just now uh, we we see how big our space is. So later on we will get the suitcase out. We just show you how big the size the size is. Uh, I remember that we mentioned before that the volume of this cargo compartment is six cubic millimeters, right? That's A right. Volume. Yeah. So it's six cubic meters. Uh, yeah. That's what that looks oh, meters, like. Meters. Yes. Six cubic meters. And there's so much space in there, you'll be able to transport so much that you could really, if, this, if you were using this in your logistics transportation yes. company, you could make some really good money. Yeah, I it's, think, from it's the, <laughs> we say, uh, if you get the car, we are on the way to get rich. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the yeah. engine? Um, the engine, yeah. yes. So we've talked about the space and how impressive it is. Let's have a look under the hood at the, uh, the engine. Let me just open this up for you and we'll have a look. So the engine, you just flick this switch here and the hood opens like so. Now let's have a look. Now you just uh, sift this to one side and lift up like that. And that goes in the hole. This one here. Oh, this one. Yeah, like that. 
Okay, now this, uh, this is a 1.6 liter naturally aspirated engine. Um, it has a high quality uh, gearbox and a, an efficient steering system as well. Um, so although it seems like a, a kind of truck uh, and practical in its use, they don't disregard performance when it comes to the, the engine and the, the quality of the, the gearbox and the, um, the steering system. Uh, but in terms of safety, that's also vitally important, of course, no matter what uh, MPV you're driving. This, um, this car has a, this V3 has a very strong body, which is very protective of the cargo and the people in it. Uh, it also comes equipped with ABS and also an EBD safety system. So it's very, very safe. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Of course, our Lingzhi series products have been selling in this market for many years. I mean, hot sale. Mm. I mean, hot sale. That is the reason. Yeah, we pay attention to the pro uh, practical economic test, mm. uh, factors. Yes. Uh, speaking of that, uh, life, life uh, stream, I heard from our, uh, our, uh, our service. Maybe we got some questions from the audience. Oh, some questions about the, the V3? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah, right. Can you check it? Maybe we can have a look. Let's have a yeah. look. Can you check it? Okay. So these are questions uh, asked by people who are looking. Yeah, watching yeah. Watching at the moment. They are watching our V3. Oh, very, very yeah, good. We'll thank you for paying attention and, uh, and joining in. Yeah, okay, thank yeah. you. Oh, yes, we have a question. Yeah, um, what is it? So the first question is mm -hmm. about the payload okay. of this, uh, the V3. Okay. Oh, for this uh, uh, V3 models, in China, the rated payload is 300 kg. That's mm -hmm. a rated payload. Okay. But usually we carry more than that, oh, it depending right. on your local regulation. If we have no strict regulations on the road, we can carry one ton or maximum to two times. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Because some customers, even they strengthen the suspension by adding more leaf spin. I see. Oh, yeah. So it's got a very sturdy suspension, this, to, to carry higher payloads. Yeah. But you must check with your local regulations. Regulation, okay. whether it allows. Okay. All right, great. There's another question here. Yes. Um, it simply says, what kinds of things mm -hmm. will it carry? What kinds of things is this used to carry? Well, th that question is so big because lots of things. Just now you see, we loaded the suitcase, even the fan or trash can. Yeah. And later we have some uh, small shops be for the water bottles and for some uh, bread or oh, some yeah. cases. Everything that you travel that, you know. Yeah, everything you need that it. needs moving around. Needs moving around for, yeah. for short transportation. Mm -hmm. Oh, very good, very variable then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the last question we have here is about uh, fuel consumption. Okay. What's this like in terms of fuel consumption? Oh, this is good questions, and also this is the questions most customers they were concerned because whether it is effective or economic, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we did the test for this uh, car for the fuel uh, consumptions. Uh, I remember it is nine liters gasoline per 100 kilometers. Really? Oh, so if you travel 100 kilometers, nine it will use nine liters of fuel. Yeah, no, no more than nine liters. And also, I, I, we have the data from other, you know, the similar competitors. Uh -huh. All of the uh, uh, fuel consumptions there, higher, a little higher than us. Ah, very good. So very yeah. fuel efficient. Uh, sure. So this is the one that we get rich. Ah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. we'll start saving you money from the very first day. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, more, no more questions, right? No more questions. That's all the questions yeah, we have. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So I can see why this, this model, the, uh, the V3, is very popular in China. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have been hot sell in this market for many years. And mm. just now we mentioned that is the reason. We pay attention to the economic and the practical factors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is okay. why. So now, uh, should we um, watch a short video okay. uh, introducing more information about the V3? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we're going to see a short videos for the details, and later mm. we're going to introduce a new model. That's right. Okay. okay. So Let's have a look. Check out the videos.
welcome back. Yes, thank you very much for joining us again. Yeah. It was very interesting to see you about the, the V3 there, the freight yes. car, wasn't it? More yeah. information about that. Yeah, yeah, you know, that, that cargo that uh, we can, you know, load cargoes inside. That's right. Yeah, just for cargo van. Uh-huh. Yes. But now we're, we're turning to... our attention to something else. Yeah. So on the Linger series, we've already looked at the Linger Plus, the Linger V3. V3. Yeah. Now we're looking at what's known as the full scene MPV. Now, yes. th this is the Linger M5, which is what we have behind us here. Yes, yeah. M5. M5. Now, we've recently sold out of the luxury models of this. This yes. is the, the basic version, just to give you an introduction to the Linger M5. Isn't that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, the basic configuration is the same. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so, let's yep. take a look. The first thing that uh, draws your attention, of course, is the front. And if we have a look right in the middle here, we see the traditional Dongfeng uh, logo here. Um, but if you look wow. to the side of these of the logo here, these are really striking. I think these are really energetic. What do you think, Coco, of these? It just <laughs> look like like lightning, right? It is. Very it's sharp, like lightning. Pew, like lightning, isn't it? It just <laughs> yeah. has a lot of. Uh, it's very. It's low key, but it's also very energetic yes. and very uh, imposing. I love that. Mm, um, me too. Honey. And, and I think that's sort of reflected in the the headlights here as well. We've got separated headlights. So the, here's the the turning signal and the daylights, and here are the the bright headlights and the fog lights as well. And they're separated by this cool streak here, and I think that's really striking and really grabs your attention. So just from the, the off, the first thing you see is really powerful and engaging with this car. I love it. Yeah. Thank you, Martin. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yeah. So allow me to introduce the left side. Okay. Okay. So you will see the left side of this car here. Obviously, the first side you will see here and this uh, waist line. This line, you see? this long line that divides this car into two parts, the upper part and the lower part. So that design that makes this car look very strong and reliable, the design. And then you will see there are three glasses here, one, two, three. And also you can see the corner here. Here we have the letter and we have the, uh, some logo here. This is 3C standard. You know, 3C standard is a Chinese quality standard. That means you need to pass the quality standard of the 3C. And then we have the E4. This is the uh, European certificate. We have the number, uh, certificate number here. See? Okay. Then you will see in front, our seats is placed by the left side of this uh, car. As you know, China is the we're driving by the right side, so our seat, our uh, driver's seat just placed by the left side. And that is different from Martin's uh, uh, country. Uh, Martin, mm -hmm. would you mind introduce the other side, right yes, side of this car? Yes, that's fine, that's fine. Yes, you're right. In, in England, we <laughs> drive on the other right? side of the road, so whenever I drive here, it feels a bit strange. <laughs> but anyway, yes, let's look at the right side of the car. So the first thing we see here is the... Uh, the prominent uh, indicator switch here, so it's very clear for other drivers to see. Now, uh, Coco mentioned the, the safety standards mentioned by these uh, labels here, but I just wanted to mention this side mirror here, just how big it is. It's almost as big as my head, uh, which offers great and clear views to what's behind and to the side uh, of the, the MPV here, so it's very safe. Uh, if we look back here, here we have the, the side uh, opening here, the side door. Now, before I open, like we rail. can have a look here to the side it's railings. It's and they go all the way back here. And it just goes to show how much this, uh, this side door opens to offer a, a great big space. Let's have a look. So it goes all the way back. And it offers such a big space, which allows, of course, um, ease of getting in and out the car for passengers in the second row, um, as well as the back row. It's very easy to get in and out. There's a lot of space to move around. You don't have to squeeze or anything like that. Um, we're gonna have a look at the inside a little bit later, but first, should we meet with Coco again and see what, uh, and see what the car's like uh, around the back? Hello, Coco. Hi. Yeah, I'm glad to introduce you the rear side of this car. See, you will see here, uh, we we will place, and this car equipped a camera here by the plate, uh, license plate here. 
this camera is very necessary for this car because uh, the driver cannot see what happened at the rear side. So the camera will help him to know exactly what happened. For example, if some children are playing a uh, sport, playing at the ground, on the ground, and when we reverse the car, so that would be very dangerous case. This camera can help. And by these places here, we also equipped with radar. This radar can detect very accurately uh, for the situation at the rear also. Uh, by both the radar and the camera, so the drivers, they can drive without any worry about what happens just by the rear side. And then we will see what it looks like in the trunk. So let's open this trunk very easily. If I press this button here, then you will see. Wow. Oh, so much big spaces here. You see, uh, we lay down this uh, third row seats. And then you will see uh, the sea, uh, the whole spaces here that uh, we can try to imagine how much the space. First, we can try to imagine, uh, measure the width. So do, do we have the, uh, yeah, meter, thank you. Okay. I remember this meter length is around like uh, 1.5, yes, 1.5 meters. Yes, 1.5 here, yes. Yeah, 1.5 meter width. Here, you see? Okay, so uh, that means any cargo that within this size, you can put very easily inside. And if you have a bigger size, then you can just, just uh, lay down this seats and then you can put inside. That, that's very convenient for uh, someone if they want to transport some cargoes. Just, you know, very easy. Martin, okay. can you see? Yes, I can, yeah. Should yeah. we go and have a look at the inside? Yeah, yeah, please. Okay, so thank you very much, Coco, for showing us uh, the, the storage at the back there. Now let's go have a look what it's like from the, the driver's point of view and have a look inside. So we have the driver's seat here. Let's get in and have a look. So, well, the first thing that strikes you when you sit in here is just the, the sense of comfort. Um, not only is the seat very comfortable and supportive, but also the, the color scheme, um, the smoothness of the dashboard. And I just think this dark gray and the dark uh, wood effect here that wraps around the entire dashboard and into the, 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 uh, the doors of the car just works really well. It's very easy on the eye, very pleasing, and it's a very comfortable environment to be in. Um, now, we mentioned before that this is the basic model, so some of the features we can't be seen here. Uh, the luxury models are all sold out, but we'll be getting some more soon. Uh, in the luxury models, you'll be able to have uh, more features on the steering wheel, buttons on the steering wheel. Uh, down here is where you'll be able to control the side mirrors from, the headlights from, um, as well as having a, a sport mode and a lock mode. Uh, it's very easy to learn, it's very intuitive. There's no long learning process and anyone can sit in here and quickly know where everything is and what everything does. Um, we have here on the side, of course, the indicator switches, the, the windscreen wipers, um, and uh, including the fog and the, the dash cameras as well. Um, if we can come around and have a look from this side, and we can have a look at the central console, what we've got here. So this is the basic model, uh, but in the, um, the more luxury model, we'll have a, an LC, a seven inch LCD screen here, which is where you can control things from. But this is being more basic. We can look here, we have got the, the radio station here. Uh, with the, the volume control and the tuning control, we can tune in six different stations here. Uh, mute is just one button, very convenient. And the, all the buttons and the, the knobs here feel very, very uh, comfortable to use, very high quality um, and very intuitive, very crisp as well. Uh, so that's the radio here. To the side, we have our air conditioning vents. Now these air conditioning vents are controlled by these three knobs down here. Here we have the the temperature control. Again, very crisp, very smooth. You can just tell that it's a good quality uh, control here. Here we control the, uh, the volume of the air that comes through. 
And here, the direction, whether it comes through be below or through the side vents or wh wherever. So you've got all control uh, within reaching distance, very convenient, very uh, comfortable as well. Uh, here we have our emergency lights. So when we park to the side of the road, we pop those on. Again, very easy to control. And down here, we have our power outlet for a cigarette lighter or whatever needs to be powered. Uh, here we have our uh, USB. Um, very crisp and very clean looking as well, I think. Uh, here we have two slots available. These are very, uh, very good for storing cards in. For example, when you're traveling on the highway and you need those uh, cards to travel through certain areas, you can pop them in there so you don't lose them. We have got good storage space here with non-slip uh, surfaces here so nothing will slide around. Again, we've got a more storage here, very big storage space in the middle here, um, which is uh, just, be just behind the handbrake. Um, so whatever your storage needs, they'll always be met by this. There's so much, so many places to put your things. And we've got the, the gear stick here, which goes from reverse all the way one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to six. So it's got a good uh, variety of, of gears to get in there as well. Um, so. This is the front, this is the driver's side. Should we have a look at the passenger side in the second row? Yeah, I'll pass sure. you back to Coco and let's have a look. Yeah, Hello, sure. Coco. <laughs> Hi, Martin. Thank you for the introduction. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, as we always know that for the front row, I mean the driver's seat and the, first, uh, the front passenger seat, always very big and spacious. But what about the second row and the third row? So, Let's try to get in and see how, how, do, how does it feel. You see here? Wow. Okay, you see, now I'm getting in the side, getting inside. I feel like the space is very big. Why? You see, the upper head of, you know, my head still have a very long distance here uh, between the roof. And then you see the in front, I can stretch my hand, uh, my uh, hands and my legs, even with my legs crossed, I think it also can, can do. Uh, the seats you see here feel like very soft and very comfortable. Uh, and the space is here when people are working, just uh, getting in the car or getting off the car here, we have like spaces very big here. And then you will see the third row, the same. Here, the third row space is also like this, uh, the second row, the space is also very big. You see uh, our car here designed by like a uh, wheelbase three meters. That makes our car a very long design. So the space inside, we feel like always sufficient. Uh, also, uh, we have another selling points that we will uh, do and later you will try to see uh, if we take off all the seats out, then it can convert into a cargo version. We will do it later. Or we will experience this later. So, uh, Martin, what's next? Yes, thanks, Coco. Yeah, yeah, I was really impressed by the, uh, the versatility of this car. There's uh, nine different seat combinations in there. Yes. And you can, um, this is the, the basic version, isn't it? So the yep. luxury version has even more, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But if you take them all out, then you can store maybe even 30 suitcases. I reckon even more in there. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really yes. impressed with the, the versatility. And you mentioned the length. It's five, over five meters long, 5.1 meters long with a yeah. wheelbase of three meters. Yes. You can get a lot of things and a lot of people in there as well. So very good. Yeah. Um, so I think that's why they call it the, the full scene MPV or the all-rounder MPV. Yes. The versatility of this thing is really impressive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just now, uh, as Martin just mentioned that, uh, uh, this model, uh, this model uh, today we are calling a standard one. Mm. But if we uh, here, if we will, you will see our luxury one. Uh, we will have other options. Ah. I mean, uh, you can just imagine, okay. Martin. So for our luxury models, that we have like three part panoramic sunroof Whoa. just on the top, like three uh, big glasses. Ah, right. I see. Yeah. So it's, it it's almost like three sunroofs. Yeah, sunroofs. In, in the just on the, the top. In the top there. Wow. Yeah, on the top. You feel like uh, even when you sit at the third row or second row, uh, so you will feel like wow, how much bright, you yeah. know? Just like you won't feel like you're trapped in a little <laughs> box and it's dark very and everything. It'll be like driving a convertible. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And for our luxury version, we also have the leather seat cover mm. and also we have the LCD screen. And the multifunctional steel wheel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 
uh, any of these uh, uh, oh, options right. you can add. Okay, no yeah. wonder the luxury ones got sold out so quick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Martin, that's why we cannot see it today in our showroom. That's right, yeah. but, but never mind. Um, you mentioned those selling features, which are really cool. I wanted to mention another selling feature, which is the engine of this car. Okay. Can we come and have a look at the engine around here? I'll show you what I mean. Let me lift up this thing. Uh, okay. Now, the engine in this thing, it's known as the 4A92 um, high efficiency Mitsubishi engine. Um, it's made with uh, durable, reliable, and lightweight resin parts. Now, these resin parts make it really lightweight. This engine is uh, 89 kilograms in weight. Now, an 89 kilogram weight engine, Coco, yep. do you know how much the average engine weighs in a car? Do you know? uh, <laughs> I don't know, Martin. This right. question, I don't know. You know, it's 150 kilograms. Mm -hmm. That's your average engine. Okay. There. This is only 89 kilograms. It's super lightweight. That's nine. That's 40 percent less oh, than your average engine. Yeah, it's lighter. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But you might think, oh, well, you're sacrificing a lot of power for that. But no, it's still very powerful, very reliable, very dry, uh, durable as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you. So it covers. Uh, it covers all aspects. This car, I feel. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I heard this engine is uh, just made by like Mitsubishi uh, Technology. Mm -hmm. I forgot mm -hmm. to uh, tell you before. That's right. Yeah, but we can tell our uh, audience. That's right. Oh, by <laughs> yes. the way, um, during our live stream, we've had uh, several questions huh? um, yes. from people watching this uh, this live stream that uh, I wanted to ask you. Yeah. Okay. Please. Okay? What are yeah, questions? I've, I've received them here. Okay. Okay. So the first okay. one. Okay. Um, is to do with the the versatility of this car. Okay. They say, um, okay. so they saw that you can store lots of things in this car, put lots of things, or lots of people. Yeah. They want to know how easy it is to transfer from one to the other, from oh. transporting people to transporting goods. How easy is it to transfer? Uh, okay, for this uh, questions, I can show you. Mm -hmm. I can show you. I can take our camera to show you how to uh, convert that. So uh, when you see here uh, the seats here, the, third, the second row and the third row, the seats are fastened here by this screw, this top screw, this top screw underneath. So uh, when you want to convert that, you just take this screw uh, and then take the seat out. It will become the uh, cargo version. That is easy. Everybody can do that. But something that we need to pay attention is about the regulation because different countries, they may have different regulation on the road. So in China, some places allow us to convert that. Some places cannot because the license plate is different. So what is your country like? Uh, what the regulation is? You need to check before you convert that. Yeah, mm -hmm. as far as I know, most of the country can do it very easily. Really. Oh, right, okay, that's some good advice. This, this car is very popular. And not just in China, but around the world. But every country has its own regulations that you have to um, adhere to. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Coco. The second question, um, a simple question. How many people can you sit in this thing? And how many goods or how much cargo can you put in this thing? Okay. And uh, what's the fuel consumption like? Okay, so uh, we didn't answer these questions uh, previously. Mm. Right now, I'm glad to uh, answer this. First of all, about the passenger seats, how many people can mm. sit inside? We have option for five seats, seven seats, and nine seats. All right. Yes. And for the cargo version, it can take like uh, six cubic meters around the measurements. Six oh, cubic wow. me me measurement, uh, six cubic uh, meat. Six, six cubic meters of yeah. volume inside. And for the payload, mm -hmm. uh, around like uh, uh, one ton. Okay. Maybe more than one ton. Uh, it just, you know, depends what you are going to load. Very good. Very yeah. good. No wonder they call this the all-rounder. You've got so much uh, options and so much var uh, variability here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, Martin. Another question I remember. Mm -hmm. Still have one. For the fuel consumption, right? That's right, yeah. Okay. I was just going to ask that. Okay. <laughs> so for the fuel consumption, uh, uh, for this car, it's like uh, nine liters for uh, nine liters per 100 kilometers. Oh, nine that's, liter. That's very good. Yes. So Gasoline. 100 kilometers. So nine liters of fuel will get you 100 kilometers of distance. Yes. Oh, very. It's good, very economic. It? Very economical. Yeah. Yes. Okay. In the market, uh, many cars there uh, 
their field conception is more than that, uh, mm -hmm. more than 10. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then this is only nine, so that's very good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, and uh, well, one last question. Um, they want to know about the, 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 the warranty period of this car. Okay. Uh, how long is it or how is it measured? Okay, I'm glad to answer these questions. And I think this, is, this question uh, will be the most interesting question for our audience too. Um, in China, our factory providing uh, five years uh, okay. or 100,000 100, kilometers, which one comes first? Ah, right, so, so it'll either be five years period. or 100,000 kilometers, whichever comes first. Uh, Is that right? Yeah. All right, very good. Yeah, but I need to add that in overseas market is different because uh, the, uh, the situation, the road condition, the climate and the habit is different. So we cannot say everybody the same, mm. uh, but we, you can check with our online service. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so if you want uh, more information about that, you can check with us online and get in touch with us there. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Okay, great. Yes. All right, well, uh, no more questions as of yet. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. enough. Yeah, just now, uh, uh, Martin, we just uh, introduced our uh, uh, M5 and V3 and mm -hmm. Links Plus, right? That's right, yeah. Yeah. So we've seen uh, all three, haven't we? Yeah, so yeah, far. yeah. But now we're going to have a little more information about the M5. Okay. Is that right? So can yes. we watch a short video? Oh, this? yes. Yes, just now we say this is a, a vert, uh, how do I say that, a versatile? Okay, versatile? <laughs> versatile, yes. Uh, just now we say it's a versatile cars. Then we will see more details by a video. Okay, let's have a little look at the video about the M5. Okay, let's see. Hello and welcome back. Yeah. It's always a pleasure to learn more about the Lingzhi M5, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, it's very good to know about all our Lingzhi series, right? That's right. Yeah, we have many models. That's, so today we had a look at the, the top three selling cars in the yes. Dongfeng Lingzhi series. Yes. We saw uh, the new models, we saw classic models, we saw um, passenger cars, riding cars, we saw freight cars, we saw all-rounders, we saw such a huge variety yes. just in those three cars alone. Really <laughs> impressive. Yes, um, so yes. if you happen to be in the market and want to buy an MPV, yeah. then you know who to choose. You choose Dongfeng Dong Lingzhi. Yes, as you know that uh, our Dongfeng Lingzhi has been launching in the market for more than 20 years. All right. uh, our uh, factory research uh, tech knowledge center, they have been putting a lot of investment in the research and the development all those years. Mm -hmm. So our quality and performance is already being uh, verified in the market. Mm -hmm. I can say that you just buy it, don't need to worry about the quality. <laughs> Yes. So, and if you want to find out more information about these cars, then you can get in touch with us. Is yeah. that right? Yes. Okay. You can ask our uh, service online or you mm -hmm. contact us uh, uh, factory directly. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, but so today... That's it for today. That's the end yes. of our live broadcast. Thank you very much for joining us today. We yeah. appreciate it a lot. Yeah, thank and, you. And uh, we'll see you again next time. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Thank you for bye watching. Bye. bye.